Hey, what's up everybody? I uh, had some free time here so I thought I'd take a chance and uh, make a video of some recent purchases I got over the weekend. Um, I was able to go out and uh, see the Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers concert and uh, I got the shirt here. And the opening act was Joe Walsh, so that was a really, really good concert. But before I went to the concert, I went, I left a little early, so I did some shopping. And I stopped at the Barnes & Noble, because I hadn't picked this up yet, the vinyl, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Um, I have the Barnes & Noble membership, so I got a 10% off. Plus, I also had a 20% off coupon in the mail, so... That made it a really good purchase in my opinion. So we'll open this up and take a look at it. Very glossy cardstock here. And inside the first flap. We have the album in a polyline sleeve, but it also comes with a replica of the original sleeve. There's this little brochure in here too, a little excerpt there from Paul McCartney, and on the back there's article about the cover and the list of all the people that are photographed on the cover there. What else we got here? Got some credits and some explanations here about what's on the second album. This is a two, two LP set. And on the other side we got, of course, the cutouts here. Another re replica sleeve and the album. And this is the uh, Sgt. Pepper Sessions. You're not going to get as much as you got on the uh, deluxe edition, but well, let's take a look here. There's one one studio session for each each of the songs in the in the order of the original album too. So and then I also was able to find the new Mojo magazine. You can see what's included there. And these magazines all come with a free CD. So this one's got the Children of Pepper, it's called. You can see what's included there. Usually these CDs I listen to once and then I never listen to them again, but we'll see how this one is. So here's the front cover. It's the anniversary cover. And I did quickly flip through it just to see here. Um, here they got a little excerpt about each song that's on that CD. And then about halfway through is where the Sgt. Pepper articles start. This is an interview with Paul McCartney. I'm interested to read that.
I think these are just uh, little interviews with different celebrities about what their opinions were, thoughts on the Sgt. Pepper album. This is a little interview here with Giles Martin about the, the new box set. about Paul's piano that he used to write with. So that's it for the Sgt. Pepper stuff in there. Otherwise there's just new music reviews and things like that. So yeah, that was a pretty good find there. And then before the concert I went to another record store and I uh, picked up some couple items here. I got the Lennon Legend. I never had that before. I did have the I do have the two CD Working Class Hero. I think it's called two CD Greatest Hits. But this is the CD and DVD set. You can see there what's on the DVD if you don't already own this. I did kind of quickly go through the DVD and it's, I think it's really well done. There's a lot of good stuff on there. And then what I was really looking at was they had this sealed copy of Lennon, John Lennon Anthology. But I'm, it's from 1998. I'm pretty sure it's used because after I got it home I looked, I was going to take the price tag off of here, but that's under the shrink wrap. So obviously this is used and they just put new shrink wrap on it, so we'll open it up and see what it looks like anyway. Hopefully it's in good condition. It looks like it is from the outside, so I figured for $25 it wasn't a bad, bad deal. So here we got some, some handwritten lyrics there. John at the piano. I you can read that there. There's a book and then four CDs. First we'll take a look at the book here. Introduction by Yoko Ono. And 
John and Harry Nelson there playing pool. I've never actually listened to this box set before, but from what I hear, it's just all uh, demos and there's no studio tracks really, it's just all demos and unreleased material. So the first CD is Ascot. Second CD, New York City. And the third disc is The Lost Weekend. And finally we have the Dakota. So there you go, those are my purchases from over the weekend, so I hope you enjoy and I'll see if I can...